So this app is used to track the damages to drive time vehicles and injuries to drive time employees. So it's like an insurance claim tracker for our corporate insurance team. And the previous process was a combination of an access database, paper forms, uh, spreadsheets. So our objective was to create a, a single solution to allow our employees to submit incidents whenever one happens, and then a team of coordinators to track those incidents. And to achieve this goal, we chose Power Apps. Now, internally, we talk a lot about Power Apps as being like a rapid development process. But let's take a concrete example of what that means. So in the top right corner, we have this admin button. <coughs> And this admin button is based off of the security groups from Active Directory. So Power Apps has a built-in um, Azure Active Directory connector, and we tap directly into that to pull in the security groups of the logged in user. So that way we can see, hey, they're in the admin group, they can see the button. If you're not, you don't see the button. So we're able to have a permissions model in the app within minutes. So that's a, that's a really good example of rapid development. But let's take a journey as a regular user. So it pulls in my information. I can say that's me. And I did pre-fill out some of this information just for the sake of the demo, but we can move along. And one of the cool things is you can validate information along the way. So when you're handwriting a form, obviously you have no control over what someone's going to give you. Here, for this team, they really wanted to make sure that the description field was more than just an accident happened. So we can enforce that with a really easy a uh, formula. It's the on display mode, which controls whether the button can be pressed. Or, uh, sorry, display mode. And here we just say something simple like, if the length is greater than 50, they can click it. If it's not, then it's disabled. So that allows us to make sure we have the information we want. And we continue along. And here's another huge win. So before, You'd have, to t you'd have to add a vehicle and say, you know, I was driving a vehicle, here's the vehicle, and they'd hand write out the year, make, model, VIN, color, and oftentimes the information's inaccurate or incomplete. But there's a on-premise gateway, which allows us to kind of talk down to our SQL server to pull in vehicle information. So now all they have to do is enter our stock number, and they can pull in all of the fields that we care about related to a vehicle. And they just have to say something like, where is it at? At Bob's Auto Repair and dented, oh, dented rear bumper. And that was easy. And we can do the same thing with employee information. So we can pull all that in for them so that as a user, they don't need to spend all their time writing stuff out that we already have. This pulls in my information. I was not injured. Add the employee, continue along. No witnesses. High level snapshot of what happened. Submit the incident. And now let's kind of look at it from the perspective of a coordinator. So they come in, they want to look at all the incidents. I'm an admin. And here we can see kind of a list, which is a gallery. And one of my favorite features of galleries is just how easy it is to populate incidents or a list of anything and then customize all the little pieces inside of it. So here we have these color badges, and that gives the coordinator kind of a perspective on what type of claims comprise that given incident. And we can have a status, so it's really easy to customize. And for this one, we use a SQL view to populate this list of incidents. But if I click into one, We have a simple comment system. Um, it's super easy to implement. And then let's say they want to view the claims. So when I was talking about how easy galleries are to customize, this is the same, gal or this is the same gallery element. We just kind of customize the sizing of the items to make it more of a card view. So they get a snapshot of what happened with that claim. And then if they want to see kind of an overall perspective, you can have multiple galleries on a page of the vehicle, the person. And you're saying, that's great, but now you have all the data that we capture and it's digitized, but how do we tell the story? Well, one lucky thing, or very beneficial thing, was the integration with Power BI. So we can create Power BI tiles and insert them directly into the Power App. So now the user doesn't have to go off to somewhere else, another URL. It's all available in here. And one of the best parts is it's interactive. So 
They can interact with a tile. They can maybe choose a state to drill down there or a given coordinator, change a date. And it's really, really easy. And hopefully you enjoyed some of my favorite things. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And Jonathan, this app is, uh, this has been running in production. Yep. Right? Yep, How since uh, June, June 4th. That's when it went live. Okay. How long did it take you to build it? Um, it took me six weeks. Cool. Yeah, with all that functionality, including the integration. Yeah, and keep in mind, we actually created an a Azure SQL database that this sits on top of. So that all happened within that six-week period, the app and the, all the SQL work. Awesome. Thank you. Thank of course. You. Yeah.